Hello, instinctive actors. This is Joe Kelly in your Instinctive Actors Society. Um, welcome. Today we're going to talk about comedy when you're an instinctive actor and how to go about that when um, you do comedy. So um, if you're new to this Instinctive Actors Society, um, welcome to the group. If you haven't joined the group yet, you can do so by clicking on the link um, that I will put in the comments and um, get in the group for more discussion about this topic, for asking specific questions, for really getting deeper into it and um, getting into a deeper relationship with me where we can discuss the ways that the topics occur for you. And that is all happening in the group. Usually when actors come to me and they talk about comedy, they have um, like a preconceived idea of what comedy is. So I often hear actors, and I actually remember myself when I was back in Paris and I was beginning with acting and I would do some comedy scenes in acting class, um, I thought that I had to be funny. Uh, quite literally, it felt like, okay, it's a comedy scene, so I have to be funny. And <clears throat> I would kind of try to be funny. I would try to have a little character. I would try to find some funky rhythm or some genre that would make it funny. And somehow it would leave me with an icky feeling because I wasn't experiencing any fun. Um, I was kind of pushing. I was forcing an outcome on the moment and that I was sharing with the other character. So um, that wasn't very satisfying and it wasn't providing the results that I was actually trying to push through. So um, um, I really often hear actors also say, well, I'm not, I don't do comedy. I'm not funny. Like this actor can do comedy, but I don't. I'm more dramatic actor. And I think that <clears throat> I get it that we can have those thoughts but I think it's such a missed opportunity for you and the audience to actually explore comedy maybe in a new way or in a different way so that you can enjoy it for yourself too because life is definitely tragic and it's also very funny at the same time. Another thing that I often hear actors say is that um, depending on which project it is and how many cameras, they'll say, okay, it needs to be this rhythm or it needs to be that way. And whenever you do that, whenever, again, you, you, you determine how things have to be, well, you, you're, you're not present. And so if you're not there, it's very difficult to be able to um, provide an experience for yourself and your, and your audience when you're actually not in the moment, right? Uh, there's something else, there's one dear one that I often hear actors say to when they come to me and they have an audition and it's a comedic scene and they'll say, yeah, it's supposed to be comedy, but I don't think it's funny. I don't get it. And that stops them also from finding the whole joy and fun that there can be in a scene. First and foremost, comedy in a comedic scene is not a scene that is supposed to make you laugh right? It's not because you don't think it's funny or it's because, or if you don't experience fun doing the scene, that it's not funny. Quite the contrary. I would say that if you're trying to have fun in the scene, if you're trying to feel the comedy yourself, there's a good chance that it's not going to be funny for the audience. So comedy is not something that is supposed to make the actor laugh. It's really supposed to make your audience laugh. And that brings me to the, my second point, which is that in order for you to find the comedy in a situation, in a character, you really want to be completely you. And it's the situation that is written that creates the comedy. So what do I mean by saying you want to be completely you? Well, it's that you want to be so authentic, so... Um, in tune with what you're experiencing if you would be in the circumstances of the scene that you want to be totally going with that and not with the idea of oh i need to say this a certain way at a certain speed for it to be funny but you need to be completely experiencing whatever it is that you're experiencing 
about the moment and that compared and shocked with and next to the situation that is actually written is what will provide the comedy for us. So you might not have a good time in the scene because you're dealing with something and you're authentically experiencing that, not trying to leave the sticky emotion, not trying to put a mask on what you feel, but to actually be there. And those two things, when they're confronted, your experience of it and the situation and us looking at it makes us, the audience, laugh, not you. The comedy coming from an instinctive place is really the opportunity to dive into the moment that is right in front of you, right? It's really just listening to your experience, to the room, to what's in front of you, to the other character that's with you in the scene. So it's really just being capable to be fully, fully, fully present to you, to what's happening, and to the other person. So that way you go in the moment. And by doing that, you drop all aspect of being what we would call socially normal, acceptable, or appropriate. Because you are so obsessed and so much going towards the moment itself that you are present to, that that makes you so interested in that, that you let go of being normal or of having a reaction that you think you should be having. And when you're not being socially normal, but actually you're really being instinctively completely normal and human and alive, that is when the real comedy happens. So again, you won't experience it necessarily in that moment. But for the audience who sees you dive in a moment so much, and there's so many levels of presence that you can always find the next one. Um, I know Bill Murray talks about that. Um, Louis C.K. Uh, talks about that too. It's, it's really practically a, 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 an obsession about the moment. And the more you can let go of being normal, of thinking you have to do things a certain way, or you should do it that way, or you shouldn't go that direction because they'll judge you, or maybe don't do that because they won't like you, the more you can not be in that and actually be interested in going deeply into what you're experiencing in the situation, that is where the gold is, the real, the real comedy is that is completely limitless. And of course, it doesn't mean you're having fun. It doesn't mean you're trying to be funny. You're just really being completely authentic. And that is what, next to the situation, makes it extremely comedic. So it's being unaware of what you should do, being unaware of the result, unaware of the judgment, unaware of what is expected. It's just being deeper and deeper and deeper so much deeper and it's pitless in the moment. And the more you can go there, the more hilarious it is. Last point, I wanna say that experiencing this is really being in the zone, is really the flow, is really being 100% instinctive. And that for you is so much of a greater experience, a much more interesting experience where everything is okay and everything is just wonderful then trying to put on a face and trying to be funny and trying to have a rhythm or trying to have a voice or trying to have this or that. It's so much more fulfilling for you. Like there's no words to say how fulfilling it is compared to just putting on a mask. You want to be able to um, be comfortable with anything that shows up inside of you. The sticky stuff, the fun stuff, the angry stuff, the sad stuff, the shameful stuff. You want to be able to be able to, to embrace that. And we start using and muscling up and strengthening and empowering and all of that good stuff, your instinct, so that you have impulses that come. That it's not just, you know, the appropriate version, the conditioned version of you that is reacting, which is kind of a little bit of a robot, but more like the authentic you so that you can hear it, so that it's there, and that you can hold on to it and go, go into those sensations. And that's 
where comedy happens. 